creating the ramps in Revit is very easy if you understand the slopes. So let's start with this video. So I want to install a ramp on this diagram which I have prepared. So the width of ramp will be 14 feet and the radius of ramp will be 40 feet. And the arc length of ramp will be approximately 94 feet and 3 inches. So first of all go to south view and we want to rename these levels as starting level and ending level of ramp. So this will be the starting point and this will be the ending point. So as you can see the difference between these two levels is 20 feet and the length of ramp or the arc length of ramp is 94 feet and approximately 3 inches. So we just have to go to architecture tab, circulation panel and click on ramps. After that we will go to edit type and in this area you can set the thickness of ramp. In our case we will try it as 8 inches and for the dimensions so the inclined length maximum inclined length of our ramp so the inclined length of our ramp is 94 feet and 3 inches so in order to understand the slope we have to understand that how much will be the slope of our ramp so the vertical difference between the levels is 20 feet so we have the vertical distance is 20 and the horizontal is 94 feet and 3 inches. So we just have to divide 94 with 20 and the answer will be in this case the answer will be 4.7123. So this will be the our slope 1 ratio 4.7123. Then we have to click on apply and click on OK. After that, the shape of our drawing is circular, so we have to select center and arc. We have to select the center and arc, and then we have to select the center point of our arc. So the center point will be this point. As you can see, we have the notification of zero inch of inclined ramp created. 94 feet 3 inches remaining so we have to click on the start point of ramp which is this point and then we have to go all the way up to the end point and then click on other side then we hit the escape button and click on finish edit mode so the ramp is not enough to reach the top constraint so this is the normal error which you can set later so in the 3d view if you want to see in the 3d view as you can see the ramp is created and if you see in the south view the ramp is created just perfectly from the starting level up to ending level so one thing is remaining in our video we want to change the type of the ramp so there are two type of ramps one is this is given in the construction the shape of ramp you have to click on edit type and in the shape you have two options thick and solid so if you want to select the slab type ramp you have to select thick and otherwise you have to select solid let's select solid and click apply and ok as you can see the solid ramp is created which is 8 inch thick from the starting point and the 20 feet thick at the ending point but we don't don't need that type of ramp in our case so we undo and that's all i hope you like this video and learned the ramps so please subscribe to our channel and share this video with others See you in the next video. Bye-bye.